mag pouches for a high capacity rifle mags. There are a ton of different companies that are out there with different configurations, different styles of mag pouches for you to carry your mag. And we're going to look today at what is best, the best system for you. Now, there are millions of AR-15, M16 users out there, and most of them have a solid opinion on what's best. There is no best for everyone. This is going to be for you to help make your decision on what you need. Now, this doesn't only limit itself to the AR-15, whether you have an AK-47, whether you have an H&K, a SIG. Hopefully, what I'm going to talk about today, the pros and cons of these different setups, will help you in deciding the system that's best for you. Now, one thing that's the most important is quality. Quality beats configuration every time. What I mean by that is, if you've got a great configuration, but it breaks, then what good is it? So we're going to look at some different quality companies, some different things to look for to hopefully help you make a decision on what's best for you. Now we have a lot of different kind of mag pouches here, a lot of different configurations. I'm going to try to give you some pros and cons of each um, and hopefully to help you make the decision that's best for you again. Now uh, let's start with the old tried and true three mag pouch, old army surplus with the plastic clip. You have your three mag. These can go. These have the old, like I said, the old Alice clip. So they can, they're pretty versatile because they can go on a regular pistol belt uh, or fit in different areas. So uh, there's a lot of advantages to this. It has a nylon uh, material that's actually reinforced with carding here. Now let's talk a little bit about uh, some of the pro the con. I mean the pros. We'll talk about pros first. Uh, first off is these are really inexpensive. I've seen them for four dollars and fifty cent, and uh, it's somewhat resistant. It is protective. It does protect the magazines, which is important. Uh, of course, it's U.S. military issue, so it's the quality is uh, pretty decent. But one of the things that I don't like about it is, is it's thick this way. So you know you're gonna laying down prone is gonna be a little bit of a con, but not too bad. And this clip here, these are you know fair to medium, but they can break, but they they hold up pretty decently. Okay, next we're going to look. This is an Eagle. Now, this is a uh, saw pouch for, for saw, but it also will put six M16 AR-15 mags in here. It has the old style clip as well. This one also has the old Alice clips. Pretty thick, but let's go with the cons, I mean the pros first. It will hold six mags. Quality I mean, you know, Eagle makes great quality products. Also, has these little rings here, great for a shoulder strap. One of the cons is these are about $40, $45. So, um, you know, you have to weigh it out. Again, though, quality is important. Now, here we have a name you can trust, Blackhawk. Great system. These are four mag pouches. Molly attachments, as you see. I have this one actually interwoven. You can tighten that up. Uh, if you want to by doing that. But here you've got your molly attachments to put on your gear. You can also slide this over a belt if you need to. Positive, very strong Velcro straps. But let me look at a couple of things. These are the pros. High quality, super high quality. Protects your mags, which is important uh, from dust and dirt. Easily accessible. Of course the molly Attachment is a very high, is a good uh, plus. Now, a couple of the pro, uh, cons. That noise right there. It's going to be pretty noisy. If you're, in a <laughs> if you're in a hidden position, you're going to give yourself away. But thickness also as well is, it's pretty thick. But these are super quality. On the Blackhawk website, they run about $40. But it's still a, hey, a high quality mag pouch. Okay, here we have a specialty defense. It's a government contract pouch. Very high quality. Specialty defense makes a lot of great gear. This is a three mag pouch. Has the snaps. Mags fit in there very nicely. Molly attachments. Uh, it does give some amount of protection with these little buttons. One thing I do like about it too is it's very thin. You can place this up next to your body on a, a um, 
with a mag with a vest and you can really get down on the ground if you need to into a a good prone position so that's a great uh, advantage to this type mag this type pouch and to be honest with you it only runs about 21 I think it was just a little over 21 dollars on specialty defense website so you may be able to actually find these well too but one thing about it is too it's it's fairly quick fairly quick a lot quicker than the old M16 mag pouch here now here we have a Taylor tactical this is a great pouch three mags has the bungee cord release with the pull these out quickly has the what they call the malice clips you can just push that in and these will come loose and you can take these off if you want this is a great setup though again very thin these are very quick no protection on the top though and these run uh, about thirty six dollars for the three but you know you get the you spend that one time you spend thirty six dollars you get you a couple of different ones and, and you're safe. But again I guess really one of the only cons to this is no protection here and the price is just a little steep but to me if you've got the money this would be a great investment but one of the main things is is to make sure that you're uniform if you're not careful you can get this kind of pouch and this pouch. You can have two or three different kind of configurations, and yeah, you know, you can get a, you can get away with it. But really, it would be better for your training and your muscle memory to have the same type pouches that you can use. And what a lot of guys do, they take their um, assault vest or their LBV, and they put these on a belt underneath to have extra mags. And so, uh, you know, if you're only fitting six mags. To a vest you want to carry a few extras this makes a great addition and it like I said it's very thin or even on the side this is also a very high quality mag pouch now I have a side note here when I bought I bought these two pouches together and didn't even realize it was two separate pouches because these malice clips here on this tactical tailor were interwoven to the front of this specialty defense pouch so it was one solid piece that is also an advantage when using your uh, molly attachments or like these malice which is pretty much molly attachments just a little bit more high grade now the other thing is you know I've, I said that this mag pouch was like almost 40 bucks I bought these two pouches together I believe it was eight dollars they were surplus so you know even if you don't have to go out and buy brand new this pouch here, I know I paid eight dollars for it uh, at a gun show. That's where I buy a lot of stuff. A lot of times it's used, but still in excellent condition, and you can outfit yourself without spending all of your money. Just gives you more money to spend on ammunition and magazines. Also, get magazines. These things are about eight dollars a piece. Speaking of eight dollars, uh, these are eight dollars a piece. So, you know, you can really load up. Or even those P mags are only about fifteen bucks a piece, unless you get the ones that have the the view on the side to see where you're, how many rounds you have left, and those are about seventeen. Not a bad price. Now I don't have any cheap mag pouches per se, but what I'm going to show you is this. This is a cheap range bag, really, and that holds two AR mags in each on each side. It's very lightweight and thin. The stitching is not that great. I've had a hard time keeping this zipper clear of strings and everything else. Now this is fine just to run out to the range every once in a while. It even has a little hidden compartment here that you can pull out. But to be honest with you, you want something that's durable, sti great stitching. See this has single stitching. This is not going to last in a real high stress type situation. But if you're out in the field using this thing, it's going to wear out. You do not want your mag pouches, your vest, or anything else to wear out. Quality over configuration. If you could have this or this, choose the quality. It's It'll serve you well in the field. Whereas this, what can go wrong, will go wrong. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic.